Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Derek Branch here at Saint Discussions on Strike Seven Sport. Today, I just want to talk about, uh, real quickly, about a situation in regards to um, Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas and the idea of him possibly be getting traded um, after once you know everything clears out as far as the uh, season, NFL season, and you know fresh he kicks in and all that other stuff draft. Um, what are the possibilities of him possibly getting traded to this team to another team? I think it's it's there. It's obviously just that that's a chance that he he does get traded this year, um, this season, this off season, to a um, team that uh, that's you know willing to take that contract or the Saints or the Saints may have to pay that that um rent finish up finish um, paying that uh that contract to Thomas. Um, it's possible. Now, I've listened to a few folks on uh, Inside New Orleans with uh, Eric Ash and a couple of uh, you know Saints uh, reporters made some appearances on there. And they're thinking that one guy is uh, dead set on um, the Saints moving on from Michael Thomas after this offseason, after this um, season concludes, man, for well, the, the overall NFL season. He said, um, the paraphrase is here, but it's kind of stating that uh, – you know, either those bridges are burned and Peyton is not going to, you know, you know, I would say get on good grounds with Michael Thomas, even though things were cleared up in regards to the, um, you know, the, the, the miscommunication with the surgery and what he should have had, should have done it after the last year or during the off season in June, right before uh, training camp started up. It's just that the bridges have been burned, you know, and, that's a chance of that happening, you know. Um, it just, I know once you get in uh, Peyton's doghouse, it's pretty much a wrap for you. And you know, I know, I don't think uh, Peyton uh, appreciated how Michael Thomas went on social media and put that, that tweet out about them, you know, the media, I guess, the New Orleans media putting out their side of the story compared to his. I don't know. You know, it was... Um, it's an interesting situation the Saints have right there because they're being right now they're being real quiet about it. They're being real quiet about what they're gonna do with Michael Thomas right now. I haven't really heard anything yet on regards to the team. You know, I've heard one thing I've heard yesterday is that uh, Dennis Allen is interviewed for the uh, Chicago Bears uh, position, head coach position, and um, Jeff Island are. Uh, the uh, the top scout for the uh, Saints the executive over there on that in that department is gonna um, interview for the Bears general manager uh, opening as well. But in regards to Michael Thomas, any any, any uh, player moving or anything like that, nothing has been out that's official. Everything is pure speculation. Um, you know, should the Saints be interested in Derek Carr? Now Jimmy Garoppolo name has came up. Uh, Russell Wilson, that, we all know about that story. Aaron Rodgers, you know, uh, it's just a lot of speculation right now, you know. And if the Saints do move on from Michael Thomas, uh, I hope there's a plan in place, a plan to um, make up for that production because that's a guy that can catch, you know, 10 to 12 balls a game and, and get, and, you know, an average, you know, 150, 150, 180 yards a game. You know, 100 yards, 100 catch season, 12, you know, 1,400 yards, all that, all the good stuff, man. The whole nine yards, man. He's that type of a player, you know. Um, whether it be in the draft or through freights, they need to make up for that position for what he can do, you know. Because he's going to leave a bit, leave behind a huge void for the Saints offense. And even when he was there, when he was healthy, there was a void on the off Saints offense already, you know, because <laughs> – or the wide receivers straight fail to get separation in that offense, other than other than Michael Thomas. You know, he was a guy that's all. He was a guy that was always getting double teamed, always getting triple covered, and he still made things happen. You know, but uh, he gotta make up for that for that production, man. He gotta get somebody in there that can come in and, and produce. Not saying he has to be Michael Thomas, but they need he they need to be somebody that that can. That is consistent. Somebody that can win one-on-one -on -one matchups. Somebody that can get open. Somebody that can get separation. All those type of things. Somebody that can catch passes. You know, all these drop passes we had last year, man. It was it was frustrating, man. It was just a lot of things that I didn't like with this this offense we saw that I seen from about 2021, man. It was the, the worst. I would say the worst offense under Sean Payne. The worst. 
I think the Saints have always been in the top 10 wings here. From Peyton, as long as Peyton has been here, the Saints, the Saints have been a top 10 offense, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, if, I mean, if Thomas, man, if they trade him in the offseason, they got to pay the rest of that bill, the rest of that uh, that contract, uh, that must have been bad. It must have been that bad that they were ready to, to move on from him. And he's still paying his contract. You know, but I would say the smart thing to do is if you're going to move on from him, find a suitor that can that, that is willing to pay that contract. Take that contract off your books. You know, it's just, um, it ain't good. I just think that's that cap is. Like, I think it's up a $20 million cap hit if you move on, move on from him right now. You know? Find a team that's desperate for a wide receiver, that need that's desperate to need that to find that is desperately looking for that that final piece that can get him over the top. And you can dig and that they're, they're that desperate, they're so desperate that they want to take that contract off your hands. That's what the Saints need to do if they're gonna move on from the guy. We'll see we'll see everything every day plays out. You know, I got a coming soon I got a list of um wide receivers that, you know, that were Fit in, would fit in with the Saints offense if they decide to keep Mike Thomas or decide to move him. I got a list um, of coming up with a list of, of players that that come in that I think could uh, tr contribute to this offense. You know, well, I'll, I'll save that for another day. Well, anyways, man, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how y'all feel. Um, do you think Michael Thomas stays in the Orleans is over? Also, in the description box below, check out strike7sports.com forward slash Saints. Blessed content of the One Saints organization. Have a blessed day. Peace. Be safe. Who that? I'm out.